nonetheless. And then I have this one loose game here. I think you can see that it is Kingdom Hearts for the PlayStation 2 by Square Enix. I heard a lot of stuff about this game and the series in general. Um, once again, never played it. I'd like to. And I know AVGN does an episode on this, so if I ever get that far on my games of AVGN series, which I probably won't, um, at least, you know, I have the first one. The first one, right? Yeah. So, cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's move on to some Nintendo stuff. Here we have Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii. Um, this game is pretty cool. I played this a little bit before I had to get rid of my Wii. I don't know. I'm not sure why I still have this one, but uh, it seemed like it was a lot of fun. Uh, the little that I did play. Uh, maybe I should get another Wii uh, so I can play this uh, maybe in uh, Mario Mayhem month coming up soon. Or I don't know if it's available on the um, Switch, but I don't know how that works with this motion controls. I don't know, bro. I'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, it looks like some pretty good good old classic Nintendo fun. Okay, moving along. We have the, an empty box of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, it's in pretty rough condition as you can see. This was not my original box. My original box was in pristine condition. I should never have sold it. Um, but yeah, and you can see some guy wrote down this very complicated code. See if you guys can remember this. Right, left, up. That's a very important code. And the best place to, to write such a code is on the cover of the game. So you don't forget, you know, which game it's for. It's very convenient, right? So that's, uh, thank you whoever did that. I really appreciate you writing on the box of the game. It doesn't really matter, it's in horrible condition anyway, as you can see, but it's cool nonetheless. Okay, here we go. This is Yoshi's Cookie for the Super Nintendo. As you can see, a uh, fun, pretty fun puzzle game. It's not something that you know I would buy at full price. Um, I'd rather play it on the NES, I guess, but uh, yeah, it's on the NES too as well, I believe. I don't know, maybe not. Um, Cookie Chaos for Mario and Yoshi. Alright. And once again, the box isn't in the greatest condition, but, you know, at least there's no codes written on the box itself, so it's actually not that bad considering it's an older console, but... Okay, and finally, now this one is in pristine condition, surprisingly. And once again, it's just an empty box, but it's Tigger's Honey Hunt for the Nintendo 64 and that is like almost near flawless condition check that out it's too bad the game wasn't in the box not that this seems like a game that would appeal all that much to me but uh yeah really cool to have such a nice condition box okay what other Nintendo stuff do we have here This is Rapids Travel in Time 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. Oh, sorry, this is kind of a lot of glare there, but you know, you can see it. And there is the game in here, trust me, and the manual. There's the back. And uh, yeah, I never um, really got into it. I never really played this game, so can't really comment on it, but I do remember hearing a lot about it. This came in a bulk purchase, and I didn't have a 3DS at a regular three uh regular ds so i couldn't really play this one but is what it is put that down somewhere okay now we have a couple of n64 games nothing to write home about but there is all-star baseball 99 just a cartridge and nhl 99 and uh, yeah these types of games typically do not age well at all. So they're, you know, whatever. Okay, and then we have one of these, what is this thing? Oh, this is a Nintendo 64 jumper pack. You can see some Japanese writing on there. There's the back there. Looks like a mini cartridge 
basically. So this was, I think, on the bottom or wherever it was. Can't remember, but uh, when they had the uh, expansion pack, you take this out and you put the uh, expansion pack in there. I think without, like, if with no expansion pack and without one of these, I believe the console won't work. I could be wrong. But anyway, I got one of those. Let's see. And then I have, well, first of all, look at this one. 64 memory card typical looking memory card there it is and then this is a hip gear memory card I believe also for the Nintendo 64 and I would not trust this one of these with my save game data data however you like to pronounce it to me up to model okay put that there and okay I think that does it for Nintendo stuff Let's, oh no, actually, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. This is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm talking about. Which way does this go? I don't know, bro. Uh, I think it goes this way. No, it goes this way. So this is for the Nintendo Wii. It's called, hold on, hold on, I have the disc. It's kind of a bright, but you draw studio, not we draw, but you draw for the Nintendo U. And I never even tried this, but I'm assuming it's some kind of uh, drawing thing. That's a nice sound. This, what do you call these things? It's got a little clicky button there. Sega Master System, even though it says arcade, this is not an arcade machine, do not be fooled, and it's for one or two players, and I remember this game from back in the day, a friend of mine had it, and we played it quite a bit, uh, it was pretty fun, pretty fun, can't really complain too much about it, I mean I can't nitpick if I really wanted to, but uh, you know, back in the day, it was a good time, you know, so, Let's see if the game is in here, hopefully. Well, there it is, game and manual. So that's pretty cool. I'll keep that even though I don't even have a master system. Okay, what else do we got by Sega? Let's grab this stuff here. We've got some, some loose cartridges here. This is pretty cool. It is a uh, decap attack, yeah, decap attack. Now this is a pretty cool game, but unfortunately I can never get this to work. I tried cleaning it out and all that stuff, it just would not work, which is a shame. Uh, I did play the emulator version of it, of course, but uh, yeah, this might be a good Halloween type of game to play it, but uh, it's quite hard and I'm not very good at it, but oh well. This is Evander. Fields boxing, real deal boxing, excuse me. It's the real deal. Cool, put that away. NHL All Star Hockey. And then finally, what's this? Roger Clemens baseball. Okay, let's see what else we got. is one of those, uh, what do they call them, multi-taps or whatever. Uh, if you want to hook up four controllers to a Sega Genesis, 
the Sailor Man, in case you were wondering. Okay, and that's that. Uh, there is more stuff in the box, but that was, I think, the most interesting stuff I showed you. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's what's in the box. So, uh, anyway, with all that said, I hope you found this video relaxing. <laughs>